Thank you. Welcome to Open Door Bible Church. A special welcome to everyone here in the sanctuary, especially our visitors from uh, some of you from far away. It's good to have you here with us. And uh, also welcome to those of you online, joining us online. We're going to start off with a very special announcement, sir. And if we could have Pastor Mark and Daniel come to the front, please. Good morning. Um, on behalf of the church, um, uh, we all want to just thank you for the service that you guys have given us this year. And as we prepare to celebrate the uh, birth of our king, we just wanted to um, bless you guys um, with a Merry Christmas gift and just tell you thank you for all that you've done. And uh, let's give them a round of applause for all the, the help they've given us. Thank you very much. A reminder to the congregation, we have the Christmas card exchange. Please check your file folders out at the information desk for cards that are coming to you. And also feel free to use that to send cards to others. Uh, Spencer family, of course, here in concert this morning. There's an offering basket back on the table in the sanctuary uh, for the, those of you who'd like to share in their ministry. Of course, the Christmas Eve service coming up December 24th at 6 p.m. Very special service we invite you all to. And a special message for those of you joining us online. We miss you. This is a tough time. Some of you we've not seen here in the sanctuary for almost a year. But I want you to know and this comes from not only the board, but also the entire congregation. We love you. We have not forgotten you. We pray for you. And uh, if you have a need that we can help with, please contact the church office. We'd be more than willing to do that in whatever way uh, that we can safely do that. And. Um, for the rest of us at home or even here, I'd encourage you, um, if you don't have one of these uh, church bullet or church uh, directories, make sure you grab one, pray through it, and also maybe contact the people on it. Telephone, email, text message, what have you, just to say, hey, haven't forgotten you, you're still part of our family. And so now, other announcements available in the bulletin, and by way of email, just contact the office if you want to be put on that list, and now let's prepare for worship.
Amen. Thank you so much, Corey. What a blessing it is to be able to set aside our entire morning uh, this morning to just enjoy worshiping the Lord with music, whether that's through listening and contemplating the words of those carols, singing together, or of course, hearing from the Spencers in a few minutes. Let's stand and sing a couple of carols together, Pastor Mark asked that we just do a few Christmas carols this morning, uh, all together. Let's begin with Angels from the Realms of Glory. Here we go. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your fight or all you, ye who sang creation's story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Second chapter, verse 11. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Let's pray. Lord God, Jehovah, King of the universe, we come joining the shepherds, stunned by the wonder and significance of this season. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We come joining Mary and Joseph with our hopes and dreams mixed with our fears of an unknown future and we come joining the choirs of angels over us with our glad songs of praise and worship this morning and we pray this lord in the name of our savior jesus and the power of your holy spirit amen amen go ahead and remain standing if you would and let's sing a couple more of these rich carols together um, also just remind everyone that uh, uh we're not doing a children's church this morning so everyone stick around here um, for the entire service. Let's sing, O Come All You Faithful. Yeah. 
And just uh, want to do a quick missions focus before we uh, turn the rest of the service over to the Spencer family. Um, let's do the missionaries first and then we'll handle some of our own folks. There is a special need for the folks in Brazil, uh, Elwin and Linda. They, after nine years, are upgrading their computer system and um, they need around $1,500 to do that. That computer runs 24-7 all year long. So. Um, they're in the process of doing that as a missions committee, and the elders approved. We sent some money for that, but if you'd like to do that, uh, just contact me, and I'll give you the information so that you can uh, send them some help with that, uh, with that need for the radio. And then we're going to go just show all the folks that we pray for and try to support as much as possible. I'm not going to mention all their names, but... These are, there they are, and what a blessing it is to have them out there. In the lower left-hand corner, of course, that's Paul and Jan, and uh, you remember last week we mentioned that her brain tumor is cancerous and they are now home. They will not be returning to Mexico, so pray for them. Transitions like that are really hard. That's um, <clears throat> some of our own folks that we are praying for. Uh, Bill Butler, continue to pray for him. Uh, chemo seems to have worked, and yet that's a long process for him. Kemi Crank, it's been over a year since we've seen her because she's going through uh, chemo for the treatment that she's going through as well. <clears throat> Sherry Heck, we've been praying for. She's still in the hospital. And I, I talked with uh, Jim just this morning, and she's having a difficult time. So pray for that, and, and pray for family. It's, sometimes the hospital won't let you come in and see them, and that's a really difficult thing to, to go through. So just uh, pray for them, if you would. Um, Shirley Bockelman, another one that, uh, again, has been shut in and uh, struggling with a whole lot of physical things as well. So let's continue to pray for them. Daryl Morse, with the continual pain that he goes through. Uh, if you ever have had something really painful and then to realize it's not going away no matter what, that's really hard to deal with. So just pray for Daryl if you would. Let's take a second. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the privilege we have of coming before you and <clears throat> just pouring out our hearts. And we lay these folks before you. And we know that you have the ability and you have the power and you have the strength to do things in their lives, whether it's to raise them to full strength and heal them or whether it's to give them the daily grace to go through what they're going through and still keep trusting you. So Lord, we ask, we ask for the families of those that are struggling and hurting that you would encourage and strengthen them as well. And we ask for our missionaries all over the place that uh, at this time of the year when maybe they are feeling the, the, the fact that they're long ways from people that they love, we pray that you would encourage and strengthen them as well. And we pray that even in this time of COVID, these, this time of year would be a time of amazing outreach as we again celebrate the coming of our Lord Jesus. And so Lord, we commit all this to you and we thank you. And we praise you in your name. Amen. Now, I don't know what you all were doing at 5 a.m. this morning, but they were already on the road. So let's give them a big hand that they're here with us. Well, good morning. It is a joy to be here with you this morning. We've been looking forward to this uh, very much. We'll do some introductions in a few moments, but let's continue some wonderful singing these Christmas songs together this morning. We're going to sing a lot more together. Uh, we'll have a lot of lyrics on the screen, and we'd love for you to join us. Uh, that's the rest of our family. Unfortunately, not all of them uh, were able to be here, um, but um, we'll introduce in just a few moments. If, would you stand together again? Let's continue to worship the Lord together this morning. And Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And what greater benefit could there be than that baby born in the manger who lived a sinless life and went to the cross 
and bore our shame, took our sin upon himself, took our punishment for us, died in our place, was buried and rose from the dead that we might have the hope of eternal life. All who believe in Jesus Christ. So could we think upon that just now, our salvation this morning, and could we together sing this song and bless the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your Bless the Lord, oh 
is worthy. Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to gather together in this way this morning. And Father, again, we just pray that you would be glorified this morning, that Jesus Christ might be exalted. And that together as we spend, as we've already spent time together and spend the remainder of this hour together this morning, Lord, may you work in such a way in our midst by the ministry of your word, sung and thought on and, and, and the ministry of your spirit, Lord, would you work in such a way that your church, all of us here, everyone believing in Christ, Lord, might be edified, might be built up this morning for your glory and everyone at home as well. And we ask this in Jesus' precious, precious name. Amen. You can be seated. Well, it is especially a blessing to be here with you this morning because we were supposed to be with you earlier in the year. And, and you might remember I had a stroke beginning of the year and uh, it's a blessing to be here. So uh, we just praise the Lord for what he has done this last year. And so we've been looking forward to being able to uh, reschedule this and thank you, Pastor Mark and the leadership for having us in this morning and uh, we've really been looking forward to this. So let me introduce everybody who's up here. You saw the picture of the rest of our family and um, so the ones who are here, I'm Jim. This is our oldest daughter, Grace. Down here on the end is our oldest son, Aiden. Back here on percussion is our next son, Samuel. And then over here is our next son, Jacob. And then Phoebe and Ben are here with us on the front row this morning and they'll be coming up in a little bit so you'll know who they are. So Nikki and uh, Lydia and Anna, Phoebe's here, Kara and Josiah and Chloe and Julia and Will are, are at home. But they send their greetings and uh, what a blessing to be here with you this morning. So we want to do a lot of singing uh, together this morning and we would love it if you would just sing on every song that you would like to uh, sing on uh, this morning. And uh, this next one, um, God rest you, merry gentlemen. Would you just join us in singing that together this morning? Ready? God rest you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power. We're gone astray, oh, tidings of God. 
tidings of comfort and joy. Well, uh, this next song we'd like to do, uh, a lot of these songs that we're doing this morning are on our, um, on our Christmas album. And uh, this, when we got ready to do the album, we, uh, we knew this song had to be on it. It's a song that we found years ago. It's in most hymnals, but we found that not a lot of people are familiar uh, with the song. Uh, but it's called, O oh, Sing a Song of Bethlehem. And one of the things that we love about this song is that it not only sings about the birth of Christ, but it also takes us through the life of Christ. And uh, Grace sings this for us, uh, but we'll have the lyrics up there, and we would love for you to join along with us and sing if you would. Oh, sing a song of Bethlehem. Oh, sing a song of Bethlehem. Some may be familiar with the melody, but maybe not that lyric, but yeah, so if you have heard it. Do you like that hymn? 
It's beautiful, isn't it? We love that. Um, well, you know, even in a year like we have had this last year, uh, collectively just uh, these days that we have been living in, um, even in the midst of that, when we think upon the benefits of the Lord, like we're called to in Psalm 103, there are certainly still things to be glad about, aren't there? To rejoice in. And so this next little song that we'd like to sing, it's actually from one of our children's scripture memory songs albums. So we have our family band albums. Then we also have our scripture memory kids children's memory songs albums. And they're just straight scripture set to music. And, um, and this song that we'd like to do, we want to share one of those with you uh, this morning. It's called Be Glad. And so I'm going to ask Phoebe and Ben if they would come on up because they're going to help on this. So we need your help as well on this. So on this song, we clap to the beat of the song. So if you would do that, if you would clap with us to the beat of the song, that would be wonderful. There's also some spots in the song where we shout. And we need you to shout with us. This looks like a fantastic shouting group. I think we're going to do really well at this. And uh, shout at home as well if you're watching from home. But uh, shout with us, uh, two of you would. And uh, this is just um, uh, just a, a neat little song some, uh, from the Psalms. And it's called Be Glad. You guys ready to do it? Ben? Ben usually starts us on this. He kind of claimed this song as his own. So go ahead and start us, Ben, if you would. One, two, three, four. Many are the sorrows of the wicked. Set that song surround the one who trusts in the Lord. Many are the sorrows of the wicked. Set that song surround the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice to rise. Shout for joy. Be glad. Lord, and rejoice, so rise and shout for joy, all you bright and high. Good job. Let's try that again. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, and set that souls around the one who trusts in the Lord. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, and set that souls around the one who trusts in the Lord. We pray. everything to rejoice about uh, in Christ. We want to keep on singing some uh, Christmas hymns together this morning and uh, this next song that we'd like to do together, a familiar uh, Christmas hymn um, referenced even a little earlier in the service, What Child Is This? So would you uh, sing along with us on this song?
child is this. He is Emmanuel, right? Emmanuel, God with us. Grace? Well, as my dad said, my name is Grace, and I so enjoy getting to travel with my family and play in our family band. And I've also really enjoyed getting to record some of my own music, and over the past few years have gotten to record a couple of albums and some singles as well. And so we're going to do um, a Christmas song that my dad and I wrote a couple years back, and I got to release a couple years back. It's called Here With Us. One, two, three, four. Turned our backs on you, we cursed your name, but still you came. Darkness, music, it's gripping, you drew Oh, how great it is love that came to dwell with us. God that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, right, to this earth, prophesied about hundreds of years before, detail after detail about his birth and his life and what he would do, fulfilled every one of those prophecies. He was Emmanuel, God with us. And um, this Christmas season, uh, we have as a family been just kind of, as we've been reflecting back on the birth of Christ, it's caused us to, to be looking forward, to be looking ahead uh, to what is to come because Jesus came to that manger, right? For if there was not a manger, there would not be a cross. There would not be atonement for our sins. Our salvation would not have been purchased 
but it was purchased, right? Not with gold or silver, but with the very blood of Christ. Scripture says that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. There is no forgiveness. Without the shedding of blood, Jesus went to the cross and he shed his blood for us on the cross. Scripture says the wages of sin is death. That is what we deserve because of our sin. Scripture says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. We're all worthy of punishment. And if you think about it, God must punish sin. He must. Or he would be neither holy nor just. And not even loving. He must punish sin. And he's explained in his word. That the wages of sin is death. Physical death came into the world as a result of sin. Spiritual death, and as scripture describes, eternal separation from God in hell is the punishment that we must endure and that we deserve because of our sin. But, One of my favorite words in scripture. But the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise the Lord. And scripture says, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever, Scripture says, whoever believes in him will not perish, will not go to hell, but will have eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is not dead. He died on that cross But he is not dead. He is risen. Amen. And because he lives, we have the hope of eternal life in Christ. When we come simply by faith, turning from our sin and our unbelief, placing our faith in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. And I hope if you have not done that yet, in your life. If you have not yet placed your faith in Jesus Christ, oh, I pray that you would this very day, this very moment, this Christmas season, that you would receive the greatest gift of all. Forgiveness of sins. Eternal life, not hell. A man asked, asked in scripture, what must I do to be saved? He was told, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That is a promise of God and God cannot lie. If you will place your faith in Jesus Christ alone this morning, you will have eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. John 14, we've been reflecting on this just a little bit as a family, this looking forward as we look back to the manger. Let me just read a few verses for you before we sing some more songs this morning. Jesus said this, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms, If it were not so, would I I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go, Jesus said, and prepare a place for you, I will.
come again. He is coming again. He has promised that he will come back. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It is the way that God has prescribed. It's the way that God has provided for sinners like us to come into reconciled relationship with holy, holy, holy God through faith in Jesus Christ alone. And isn't that great news Oh, saints, all you who are believing in Christ, Jesus said, I will come again and I will take you to be with me where I am. Praise the Lord. As we celebrate and rejoice in the manger this Christmas season, let's look forward with great hope to what is ahead. Eternity, eternity with him. Amen? Amen. Well, could we just sing that gospel together just now? Singing this great modern-day hymn by the modern-day hymn writers, the Gettys, in Christ alone.
Christ alone. You can be seated. Thank you for singing that together with us. And let me just mention, if God has been at work on your heart this morning, uh, particularly regarding the gospel, if you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ this morning, could I encourage you before you leave, would you talk with Pastor? I know that he would love to visit with you, to rejoice with you, to come alongside you and help you in your new walk in faith in Jesus Christ. Or maybe this morning you just still have some questions. And I know the pastor would love to sit down with you and, and look at God's word together and help um, answer some of those questions or those questions that you might have. And if you're at home today and, and, and you have questions, get in touch with pastor. Would you do that? Um, well, what a blessing it has been to be here with you this morning. Thank you so much for having us. I should just mention before I forget, we're going to sing one more song together um, here in just a second. But um, uh, I should mention our table. We have our table back there in the back, and it has our CDs on it. It has a, a Grace's album, uh, our Christmas CD, and other CDs, the Children's Scripture Memory Songs albums. Um, a little book that I wrote called Doing Family Worship um, as well. Um, and uh, so those things are available back there. And I just wanted to explain how our table works uh, so, you, so you know that this morning. Um, everything that we do is on a donation basis. And so if there are things from that table that you'd like this morning, there's, there's a box back there. And if you'd like to, you can leave a gift for, for those items. Um, at the same time, we don't ever want finances to stand in the way of anyone having things from that table that they'd like to have. So please freely avail yourself of what is there. And we pray that it would be a blessing to you. Well, uh, why don't we just close in one last uh, song this morning. And, um, you know, uh, we would be remiss, wouldn't we, if we um, celebrated the birth of Jesus Christ, but we kept that to ourselves, right? If we, if we kept that to ourselves and, and didn't tell anyone the reason for the rejoicing, right? And uh, so we'd like to close with a song. It is just a song to sing to one another this morning, encouraging one another. Sing to one another psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, right? Some of the songs we sing are, sings, are songs that are directed to the Lord and, and we're expressing our hearts to the Lord. Other songs that we sing as the church are meant to encourage one another, right? As well and glorify God as we do that. And uh, so this is one of those songs. And we'd love to do that today as we close. Just sing to one another and encourage one another to this Christmas season. Go tell it on the mountain or in the grocery store, right? Or in the workplace. Or I know it's a little different this year, but maybe some extended family you'll see or be in touch with that you haven't been in touch with for a while and may we go may we have the gospel on the forefronts of our mind and on our lips and ready to share that throughout this Christmas season what a unique opportunity we have this time of year to tell to tell of the joy that is in us the joy of Christ right to tell the good news that that was God who came to the manger Emmanuel to tell others what he did for us what he did for sinners, that we might have eternal life. Well, so could we sing that to one another this morning as we, as we close? I think someone's going to come right after that. Um, uh, why don't we stand together, if we could? And uh, are you guys coming back up for that? Are you planning to? Can you come up and clap? And let's sing, go tell it on the mountain. That'd be So clap, if you would, to this. And uh, let's encourage one another. Go tell it on the mountain. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's wrong. Sorry. That was bad. There we go. Maybe I should put my glasses back on so I'm on the, uh, on the right fret. Okay. 
Ready? One, two, three, four. Appreciated the ministry of the Spencers. Let's give them another hand. And I'm going to ask you to please rise up. <laughs> A reminder that uh, they do have the table back there. I take advantage of that. And also, um, we have an offering basket there if you'd like to share in their ministry. You notice the price of gasoline going up. So it cost them a little bit to get the whole crew here. So uh, that is available for you also. Now receive the benediction. Let us go from this place proclaiming that we have seen the glory of the Lord, knowing that there is a light that shines in the darkness, which the darkness shall not overcome. And may the love of the Creator, the joy of the Spirit, and the peace of the Christ child be with us this Christmas and forevermore. Amen. Have a great week celebrating the birthday of our King. God bless.